Hey there, fellow tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to Tech Talkies, where we dive into all things Arduino. Today, we look into more Arduino modules that can help beginners to build projects. Check out the other parts if you haven't yet. First up, let's shine light on the LCD display module. With its vibrant illumination, you can bring your projects to life by showcasing data, animations, or anything your heart desires in a dazzling visual display. Next on the list is the I2C converter. It acts as a bridge to connect your Arduino to an LCD screen. It reduces the number of pins needed to control the LCD screen to only four. Let's see the difference in connections with and without this module. This module makes our life much easier. You can also control the contrast of the display using this built-in potentiometer. Next up, the sound sensor. This nifty little module allows your Arduino to detect and respond to the level of sound in its environment. This particular module only has a digital output, so it can only send an on or off signal at a certain threshold of sound. Imagine creating projects that react to music or clap-activated applications, like turning on lights. The possibilities are endless. Moving on, we have the motion sensor. This module can sense human movement in front of it. It has an onboard pyroelectric sensor and a dome-shaped Fresnel lens. By using passive infrared technology, this module can detect human movement and trigger actions based on those movements. From security systems to interactive projects, it can be very useful. Next up, the three-axis accelerometer and gyro sensor. This module enables your Arduino to detect orientation and angular velocity, making it ideal for projects like balancing robots or motion-controlled devices. Prepare to be amazed by the precise control you can achieve with this little module. We can rotate this 3D cube with this project. Pretty cool! Next up is the vibration sensor. This module allows your Arduino to sense vibrations, opening up a world of possibilities for applications such as earthquake detectors, alarm systems, or even interactive gaming experiences. The power is in your hands. Next is the micro SD card reader. This module enables your Arduino to store and retrieve data from an external micro SD card. From data logging to audio playback, this module expands the capabilities of your Arduino by leaps and bounds. It can also be used to store data that the Arduino needs between power cycles. Here, we store a text file in the card and let the Arduino display it in the LCD. We can replace the text file using a computer and thus eliminating the need to reprogram the Arduino to update the text. Finally, we have the joystick module, the ultimate controller for your Arduino projects. With its analog input capabilities, you can create gaming devices, remote controlled systems, or simply control your projects with precision and ease. This module also has a switch. I have made a mini game using this module and an OLED display. And there you have it, folks. If you need detailed tutorials on any projects seen here, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fantastic Arduino content.